Some things that should not have been forgotten were lost. History became legend. Legend became myth. And for 500 years, the mower passed out of all knowledge until... Ooh! What is that? It looks like an emu. I think it's a mower. Yeah, meet the mower. It's an up to 3.5 metre wingless bird that once roamed the plains of Middle Earth. I mean, New Zealand. Moa disappeared around 500 years ago, possibly because of human hunters. But now, an American biotech company says they can bring them back. The process of de-extinction is that we extract DNA from ancient bones and we sequence that DNA and assemble ancient genomes. DNA is like a blueprint that exists inside the cells of all living things, determining how they look and act. Sometimes you can also find DNA preserved in dead things. We'll be comparing the genome sequences to genomes of living birds to identify what it is that made MOA unique and using the tools of genome editing to make those changes in the DNA sequence of the living close relatives. And it's got a lot of MOA fans excited, especially the Lord of the Rings director, Peter Jackson, who's invested around $23 million for the project. It's giving me more enjoyment and satisfaction than, than any film, films ever, ever have. <laughs> Colossal Biosciences is using similar techniques to try and bring back other species, like the woolly mammoth and Tassie tiger. Then there were these guys, which Colossal Biosciences claimed were the first direwolves to be born in more than 10,000 years. Although some were skeptical. The claim that they have created the dire wolf is just simply rubbish. You know, they've put a few, uh, you know, dire wolf genes to create a, a big white dog. Yeah, some scientists say they're not really creating an extinct animal. Instead, they're just making existing species look more like their long lost relatives. Scientists can create genetically engineered animals, but we're definitely not at the point of bringing back a 100% genetically engineered emu to look genetically identical to a moa. There are also some people who say it's not right to try and bring back extinct species. For starters, keeping these new creatures alive takes specialised knowledge and a lot of money. Plus, some reckon all this effort could be better spent protecting species that are still alive. Do not be so eager to deal out de-extinction, for even the very wise cannot see all ends. Yes, thank you, Gandalf. Others say we should bring back species that we helped send into extinction. And thanks to things like climate change and habitat loss, species extinctions are happening faster than ever. Some reckon it might be good to have a backup plan. And let's face it, seeing a moa in the flesh could be kind of cool. Yeah, and it's uniquely a New Zealand bird, so we're something, it's something that we've always been very fascinated with. In any case, Colossal says it'll be about five to ten years before we see any moa hatching. Until then, these amazing creatures will remain a fantasy. Hang on. That's definitely an emu. I don't think we're in New Zealand anymore. <laughs> <laughs>